So as a lot of you know, I had a very positive experience with the Apple MacBook Air. So I really got curious because I really liked the integration that Apple had with its own ecosystem within iPadOS, um, iOS, and then macOS. So I was really curious to see how good Android and Windows can do with this because I am on a Windows machine now and I just got a little curious. So I ended up downloading the Your Phone app and I had a very great experience with it. I'm gonna walk you through that today. So I'm not gonna hold you any longer. Let's hop into this video. I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like the I'm grown. Told myself to show myself to do no wrongs. Like, I'm about to be on. Been on this mission since I first left home. Pack up my bags like the I'm grown. Okay, so again, we're talking about the Your Phone app today. Uh, this is an app made directly by Microsoft. So right off the bat, it is definitely one of the best integration apps that you will get for Windows and um, Android. Um, I'll be going over a few more on the channel, but this is probably going to be the most popular one just because it's made by Microsoft directly. Um, on most modern window computers, it's going to be uh, just easily searchable. It's already preloaded onto your computer. Just type in your phone on your uh, Windows computer and then you want to search the your phone compatibility app on your android device via the play store it is compatible with ios as well but not nearly as many features so the setup is really easy it only takes a few seconds so you just hit this get started button and then you will uh, want to pair it with a qr code from your phone or it gives you the options to go to a website and put it in or you could just put in a code so after a few seconds, I got everything linked up. So I'm just going to hit continue because it says I'm all set. And um, you get like a little um, prompt right here. Just tells you what the Your Phone app does. Welcome to the Your Phone app. Um, everything about your phone is now accessible. So let's just hit get started. And then here are a few of the quick things that you can see. All right. So now that I'm in the Your Phone app, I'm just going to go over um, pretty much all of the major features in here. So. Let's get to it. So um, starting at the top left corner, actually, I'm actually going to start with what I think is going to be one of the most useful features. You can actually open your phone screen directly from your computer. So when you click this little phone icon right here, it pulls up your phone screen and everything um, is working exactly like how your phone would. So uh, this is the launcher I have. This is exactly how my phone is set up. Um, you can open up pretty much any app you want. Let me just open up uh, Twitter. And this is exactly how it would look on my phone screen. I could access pretty much everything from here. So yeah, I feel like that's extremely useful, especially if you don't want to be on your phone a lot. Um, you want to check something quickly, you could just open this up and um, you'll be good. Um, you also have like a few little quick options right here. You could quickly turn on do not disturb on your phone. Uh, you could turn on uh, Bluetooth. You could uh, adjust the sound settings of your phone and you could turn your uh, audio player on or off. So I feel like all of those things are extremely useful for quick actions. You will also get all of your phone's notifications directly to the Your Phone app. You could disable this in Windows if you don't want to see all of those notifications pop up. But um, once you get a notification, it will pop up like right here, like a normal uh, Windows notification. And another cool thing is that um, when you like look at these uh, notifications, um, let me just open it up. Um, it will actually like pull up open the uh, spot on your phone. So you saw I just had a weather notification It pulled that open and then there is a sports notification and it pulled open that score So that's extremely useful. So whatever app you um, Receive a notification for when you click on it in this notification section, it will open it up on the your phone app so the your phone app actually does give you access to sending and receiving text messages as well it really reminds me of um, just like how iMessage is integrated with uh, the macbook you could do the same thing with sms messages here from your android phone so here's just an example of one of the text threads that i have um, obviously this is just spam um, you are able to just type in messages here and you do have the options to send emojis gifts and pictures you also have the options to make calls from your um your phone app um, so it's going to act basically like an ip phone which is an internet phone so once you put your uh, phone number in or you could just search by contact 
uh, you would just hit this dial button and it would use your phone speakers and uh, microphone by default or you could like switch it to your phone if you want to do that from the your phone app Okay, so you also get a photo section. This will be basically mirroring the Samsung Gallery app or whatever gallery app you use. Um, I don't know how it will work with uh, just Google Photos. I don't think it will just work with Google Photos. Uh, maybe if you have Google Photos set as your default gallery app, I'm actually not sure, but um, I'm using a Samsung phone and these are the photos in my Samsung Gallery app right now. Um, you're able to see all of these photos and it looks like you can um, open it you can open it with another app you could save it to your computer or you could share you could delete or you can copy it um, or something that I noticed that you can do uh, let me just open this up you can actually drag it to your Windows file folder and it will um, copy there so um, I thought that was really interesting uh, you can't do it for videos I guess that's one weakness of the air file app um, videos and other like larger files are not transferable um, you can only do pictures from this photo section of the your phone app there is no other file transfer it looks like on the your phone app so finally we are in the app section of the your phone app so basically what this is it's all of the apps that you have downloaded on your phone and it's going to be easily accessible from the um, your phone app so um what i like about it um i opened up a few so right now i have accu battery i have uh, the best buy app and then the uh, bleach report app um, all three of these apps are uh, this is exactly how it would look on my phone and if you want you could actually just pin it to the bottom um, of your taskbar here just by right clicking on the app here you can just hit pin to taskbar and it will pin it just for easy access so if you know there's an app that you want to access a lot but don't want to pick up your phone that's something you could pin to the taskbar or even to the start menu um, you do have like a recently used apps button so something from your um so these are the recently used apps from your phone. Um, you do have the open phone screen button again. So let me open that up just super quick. And then you have favorites so you can um, add some of these um, apps to your favorites. So um, yeah, very user friendly uh, apps. These are, the Your Phone app is extremely useful and I think this is gonna be a very important section of the Your Phone app. So now we're just going to go over the settings of the earphone app. It's a lot of things that you can customize in here. Um, for example, you have your general settings here. Um, so uh, the badges, this is going to be um, like the number um, to like symbolize how many notifications that you have. Um, I like to keep that turned on. Uh, the banners, this is how you're going to like receive your notifications. You could show it like hiding all of your contact. You could show it just showing the sender or you could just show it with like a more full preview to see exactly what was said in your notification. Um, devices, um, I only have my S22 Ultra hooked up right now. You can hook up multiple it looks like. Um, futures, um, I think this one is an absolute game changer. This is a cross device copy and paste. So when you copy something uh, from your phone, uh, you are able to like uh, paste it on your computer. I think that's um, going to be really nice and um, vice versa. Um, so here are some of the notification settings. Um, you could turn that off if you don't want to receive um, notifications from your phone. Um, let's see, uh, here's some more. These are mainly like permission based um, settings. So I'm not gonna go over all of these. Um, you do have um, like a wallpaper setting. Um, it's not really applying, not sure why. Um, it says uh, the wallpaper of your phone is gonna be like the wallpaper of this, your phone app. I'm uh, not sure why that's not uh, really showing there. Uh, you do have different themes that you could choose from for the Your Phone app. I'm a huge dark mode fan, so that's what I chose. And you do have a audio player. So when you have music playing from your um, Android device, you have the option to do some audio playback and you could do it here from this um, taskbar as well. So yeah, a lot of settings that you could choose from in here. Okay, so finally, we're just going to go over some of the features that Microsoft is like really trying to highlight. Uh, these are their latest and greatest features. This is the what's new section. So um, one of the things they're highlighting is that you can make calls directly from a conversation now. So um, when you're in the messages tab uh, at the top right corner, you can have a phone icon. So you can just press that and call directly from your messages thread. Um, an even faster way to get to your apps. Um, that was the recent apps um, section here. Um, nothing too special about that. It's just faster to get to the apps that you've accessed on your phone recently. 
Um, let's see. Uh, you can share links from your phone to your PC. I thought this one was really interesting. I'm going to try this one later. Um, so if you're in your phone's uh, web browser and you highlight the URL, um, you're able to press share and then share it to your, your phone app on your phone. And then that will share it to the, your phone app on your computer. So um, really nice integration there. Um, you could use your uh, mobile apps right away. We went over that. We opened up a few mobile apps there. Um, new looks to the message pane. We went over that as well. Um, these there are more options to um, for uh, responding to notifications. So you can reply, you can delete, or you can archive. And uh, finally, the photo section has evolved. Uh, originally, you could only view your 25 most recent photos out of your gallery. They moved that up to 2,000, so that's a huge deal for a lot of people, most likely. So yeah, uh, these are the all of the new features that Microsoft is trying to advertise here. Okay, guys, so I'm going to wrap this video up now. I had a very good experience with the Your Phone app for the last few weeks now, and this is actually one of my favorite videos to record, just mainly because I love these like software type walkthroughs. So I'll definitely be doing some more in the near future. Um, the one I'm excited about most uh, next is going to be the Samsung Flow video. So stay tuned if you guys want to see me compare these two apps. So um, yeah, overall, uh, again, this is a very solid product. Uh, Microsoft did a great job with the your phone integration with android um, one thing that i know they can improve on is definitely file transfers uh, mainly because you can only do photos now so um yeah if you guys have any further questions regarding the your phone app feel free to leave in the comments and i'll try to answer them for you so thanks for watching this video